Hi. Um, I'm recording this because I believe the first week is very important. So if we have new class members later, uh, I want them to be able to review the first week. Okay, so compositions. You guys have taken the first semester already, so you should be able to write a pretty okay paragraph, right? Uh, we'll find out very soon. Uh, let's start from the beginning. I personally don't believe that I or anybody can teach you to become a good writer. I think that's something that only you can learn on your own over time and experience. What I can do is to help you become a clear and efficient communicator on the page. So what you write, hopefully, will end up being understandable, logical, and useful. Uh, but I think it will take more than one semester to go even further and to make what you write beautiful, elegant, have impetus, rhythm, and actually make people want to keep reading. So for this second part, uh, I will help you uh, individually if I see an opportunity, but it will not be the main focus of this course. The main focus of this course will be uh, improving the basic writing skill. Now, you have taken the final exam last semester, so you know what the final exam this semester will probably look like. Yeah? Uh, so most of this course will be helping you to prepare for that. Um, let's look at what we're going to do this semester. First week, introduction to the course. I'm doing that right now. Uh, next week, holiday. That's fast. Uh, following uh, this semester, we will be covering uh, the last three kinds of paragraphs in the textbook. Uh, so we will be spending two weeks on each. The first week, uh, I will be guiding you through uh, how, uh, what each kind of paragraph means uh, and how to write that kind of paragraph. Uh, your homework for that week will be to go home and, and try to write one of these paragraphs. Uh, the second week, uh, in class, we will focus on all of the other things in each unit. As you know, each unit doesn't just have writing, it also has grammar and vocabulary. So the second week, we'll be doing that. Uh, and if we have time left, then I will uh, discuss your homework uh, in small groups or individuals. That will bring us to uh, the midterm. Now, as you can tell, we don't have a midterm exam. The midterm will simply be the three homework paragraphs that you write. Uh, and you don't have to worry too much because it doesn't take up a lot of grade. Fifteen percent only. So it's five percent uh, for each paragraph. Uh, in fact, I'll make this even uh, easier for you. I will not take points away if you make grammar or spelling or word choice mistakes. I will only take points away for things related to the unit. So the first unit is definition paragraphs. Uh, first week, I will explain to you uh, how to write a definition paragraph, and we'll look at the textbook regarding that. So if you make a mistake regarding how to write a definition paragraph, then I will take some points away. So it will be specifically focused on what we're learning. So that's the first half. Questions? Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, second half. The last two units of the textbook are uh, to do with longer essays, not just paragraphs. 
Uh, and so because the essays are longer, we will have to spend a bit more time on them. And uh, it won't be just uh, you and me. It will be in small groups. There are two units. The first unit, the textbook simply calls it essay. It's kind of vague. Uh, in fact, if you look at the unit, what the textbook wants you to write is an exposition essay, an essay that explains something. Uh, the second unit is an opinion essay, or sometimes we call it an argument essay, an essay that tries to persuade someone. So explaining and then persuading. Uh, for each unit, uh, we will spend one week going over the textbook, and then the homework for that week will be to write an essay. But you don't have to worry because we don't have to uh, write a you know, complete, perfect essay. You only need to write a rough draft, just to put your ideas on paper. The following week will be peer review, which means uh, I will divide you into small groups. Um, I'll probably do that in uh, week three. I will divide, you will have small groups, uh, around four people per group. Uh, before that week, you will have to exchange your essays with your group members. So each person will have a copy of every other person's essay. And you will read it before class, and you will think of suggestions to make to your classmates. This is important, because uh, how good an essay is, is a very subjective thing. And I am only one person. If everybody only uh, wrote the kind of essays that I like, you would not be writers of good essays. You would be writers of essays that I like. Uh, so it's important to get uh, different opinions and different perspectives on what you write. So that's what peer review does. And we will get into more detail about that uh, when the time comes, so don't worry. You know, maybe I shouldn't say don't worry so much, it'll make you worried. Okay, uh, and then after peer review week, you will have to rewrite your essay according to your classmates' suggestions, uh, and the following week, hand in the essay to me. And then we'll move on to the next unit opinion essay. But the end of the semester, these two weeks, will be devoted to one-on-one -on -one individual conferences. Uh, I, having graded and marked your essays, uh, will hand them back to you, and I will put myself in front of the classroom, available for any questions you want to come up and ask me about your essay. And uh, this is the most accurate and effective way uh, to improve your writing. You know, I'm standing here in front of 30-something people saying, uh, uh, giving a lecture about writing. Uh, so it has to be a, a general kind of lecture in order to apply to every single one of you. So it's hard in this general format uh, to talk about specific issues in individual essays. So that's what the conferences are for. One week for the exposition essay, and then one week for the opinion essay. After uh, these two conferences, you will have to go back and rewrite your essays again. Uh, and then uh, before finals week, there's a deadline I set up on Moodle. I'll let you see that later. Uh, before the deadline, uh, submit it to Moodle, and then I'll give you your grade for those essays. Questions? Okay, there's one more thing that you will have to do in this course, and that is write a journal entry each week. Now, the reason for this is because uh, if you only write, uh, what is it, three paragraphs and two essays, five things this semester, your writing will not really improve. Only by practicing your writing uh, frequently even if it's not a perfect piece of writing, will your writing improve? The, I, think, I personally think the biggest challenge that students in Taiwan have 
uh, when writing in English is the ability to think in English. And the only way to solve that is to practice thinking in English. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. Even if it's not perfect English, uh, as long as you are able to communicate effectively with others, it's good enough. So that's what the journals do. Uh, you're supposed to submit one per week. It has to be in English. It has to be original, so like, don't take your homework from another course and submit it here. Um, and that's it. I will not uh, restrict any kind of content. I won't restrict any kind of length. Uh, I've had students submit 10 page journals. I've had students submit three line journals. And I think either one is fine. Even to write one sentence in English, you have to think in English. And that's the goal. Also, uh, journals are a total of 15%. We don't have only 15 weeks, which means that you can earn more points if you submit a journal every single week, including midterms, holidays, and the final week. Uh, but to get the full score of 15, you only need to submit 15 weeks. And finally, just to take away as much pressure as I can, thank you. I may not even read your journal. I'll only check to see that you have submitted something. I'll maybe like read one or two to make sure that you're being honest, and that's it. So no pressure, I just want you to practice thinking and writing in English every week, okay? Uh, attendance, 10%, you guys just did that. Let's see, paragraphs, essays, final exam. I think that's about it, right? That's that's 100%. Uh, okay, so let's look at the Moodle page. Uh, attendance, this you can't see this. I hid this from you guys. This is for me. Uh, you'll see journal. So one entry per week for at least 15 weeks. Uh, please submit your journal to Moodle before class starts. So once class begins, uh, the, the assignment will end, you cannot submit anything. If you forget, you forget, so try to remember. And I've listed out all the weeks that you can submit. The last one is during finals week, so I'm not going to be uh, uh, too strict. You only have to submit this before midnight. Okay. But all the other ones, including midterm week, are before class time starts. Paragraphs. These three paragraphs, uh, please do not submit them to Moodle. Please hand in paper paragraphs to me. I want to see paper. Uh, because we will, I will be marking them, and I will be handing them back, and if we have time, we will discuss them. And it's really hard to do that if everything is digital. Uh, so please hand in paper copies. Essays. Here's the thing. Uh, you will submit this, or you will write three drafts of each essay, right? Rough draft, and then peer review, and then second draft. Uh, and then you'll hand it to me, I'll mark it, and uh, we'll have a conference, and then you will have to write a third draft, right? So three drafts. The first draft, peer review, is uh, you will exchange it with your classmate. So you can decide with your group members whether you want to do paper or digital. The second draft, you will hand in to me, so it has to be paper. The third draft, I won't mark or correct. I will only give you a grade. So you, you can submit that here to Moodle, OK? So the basic principle is, you know, if I have to mark it, please give me paper. If I don't have to mark it, uh, you can use digital. Uh, and then final exam, again, uh, you don't have to do anything except take the exam. This is just for me to record the grade. So that's the Moodle page. Questions? No? 
feel that I've forgotten something. Wait. Let's see. Uh, let me just double check. Ah, Zhong Han. Luo Guangyu. Wang Weiping. Zhang Weiyu. Zhang Liyun. Hi. 请问你的名字是？白宗。白宗。白白宗宇。好。呃，肖佩如。李浩宇、陈景军、陈景胜。Okay, is there someone who is not on the list? Okay. Do you have any questions remaining from last semester? Something that you guys covered but do not understand. Don't worry, I won't tell your teacher you don't know. Hello, 同学，请问你是？请问，嗯？张立军。好。Okay. Um. Why don't we divide you into groups now? Four people per group. Uh, let's use different groups for each of the two essays. So the first group. Uh, okay, now those are groups. So, 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 二，数到四，二，三，四，然后你是，一，二，三，四，一，二，三，四，一，二，呃，三，你们两个一组吗？嗯，哦，了解，好，所以是三，四，一，二，三。四，一，二，三，四，哎，刚好。啊 ，OK， so please find your group members。等一下，等一下，等一下，等一下，不好意思，英文老师数学不好，改过来了。啊，对，应该应该改过来了。四人一组，应该是数数多少？Okay, okay. Let's let's do this uh, backwards for fun. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 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 Clear? Okay. Please find your leader. What the fuck? Not clear. Not clear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please find your leader. Please find your leader. Please find your leader. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this one more time. Okay, let's do this one more time. Please remember your number this time, okay? Yeah. And then you will find people of the same number to form your group. Okay. 一，二，三，四。好，这是确定同学们来。五，六。Okay. 一，二，三，四。五，六。前面一，二，三，四。这边前面五、六、一、二，前面三、四、五、六。OK， 好，和我一样，请聚在一起。
this paragraph uh, you will hand in on this week, which is one week after midterm. So uh, you will not receive your midterm grade until the week after because I have to mark them and then grade them. So please be patient about that. Uh, you two also please come see me after class. Thank you. Uh, questions? Because if you don't have questions, then I will see you in two weeks. Class is missed.